Hey y'all, I'm out here on this most beautiful, beautiful day in another complex I've never actually walked through. And I surprised myself, I found a lake, another lake. Not that lake that I showed y'all last year, I found another one, look at that. I don't know if y'all can see, but wow, this area is fucking gorgeous. And today, the weather is phenomenal. It's really warm out here. It's like almost 80, I think. I had to come out and I'm really enjoying myself. It's so great out here to be out here, you know, alone without kids. I need a break from those kids. <laughs> I hope you guys are having a, as good of a day as I am. I'm getting my workout in. It's a long ass workout too. I ain't complaining. <laughs> I'm not complaining. It's getting warm. You know, gotta get that summer body going. <laughs> so yeah. Um. Anyway, I want to talk about this damn coronavirus thing. <laughs> Y'all, it's ridiculous how much people are tripping over this coronavirus. More reports have shown that it's not even, it's supposedly not even as bad as the flu. And even if it was, people still recover. You're not gonna die. The only people who have died so far are like elderly people, they say, or the ones who are susceptible to dying are elderly people. And everybody's just tripping over nothing. It's not that serious. The whole damn world shut down, you know? It's ridiculous. The whole world shut down. Schools shut down, daycare shut down, libraries shut down. Probably every other government place gonna shut down, and that ain't good because I had a doctor's appointment on Tuesday. Not to, or was it Monday? Monday or Tuesday? Shit, I don't remember at the moment, but <laughs> I have a doctor's appointment coming up. And you know, I hope they don't close it down over the coronavirus because I have a tooth that needs to be pulled, and it needs to be pulled. Like, it's a bad, really, really bad tooth. <sighs> I don't know. I hope I don't have to postpone that appointment, but. Y'all, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I'm just sitting here admiring this nature and people are missing out on admiring nature because of this stupid pandemic. I'm sure it's not that serious. I'm sure that um, this is just a cover up for whatever else they're doing, some kind of distraction. Y'all know what it is. The government always does something to distract you from something else or they're trying to get some kind of goal. Maybe Trump is trying to do something. Who fucking knows at this point? But, you know, there's nothing to panic about. And I already know that, you know, as many epidemics as we've had over the years. <laughs> and nothing happened. They all just disappeared. So, I don't know. People are going crazy over this coronavirus. And it's ridiculous. Me and my husband are laughing every day about the ridiculous memes that are out there and the ridiculous things are doing. Things people are doing. Oh my god, look at the beautiful geese. They just swam over here and came out the water. Wow. Hey, you called them over there? Hmm? I said you called them? Mm-mm. I didn't. Your I was making a video. I didn't call them. Oh, okay. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, somehow they're coming to me. What the? Are you serious, y'all? <laughs> oh my god. Wow. They are coming closer. What the fuck? They're so cool and crazy. Oh my god. See, I was just at the other lake talking to the other geese. Look, there's some other geese and these guys are um, definitely not afraid of me. Oh. Wow. I think I thought I called them over. I'm like, uh, no, I don't know how to call them over. I ain't do shit. I ain't got no bread on me or anything. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> That's, wow. They right there. They just walk up to me. That one did. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Again, people are missing out on nature because of this. And people need to stop. You know, any family time, any extra family time that you have because your kids are out of school or anything like that. Take the family time to bond, you know? Take the family time to evaluate some things. Get to know your family better and spend time with your kids. Spend time with um, 
your family, because the majority of y'all, I know y'all don't get down to spend with your family like that. You know, you're all separated, you're going to work and schools and all different places, and y'all don't really bond like that. You know what, I hope there's no ants crawling up my ass as I sit on this bench. I don't think so, but just take the time to bond with your family. You don't panic or anything. It's really not worth it. The weather is gorgeous. Enjoy the weather wherever you are. Hopefully it's great wherever you are. It is gorgeous here in the ATL, okay? So yeah, I'm appreciating this. You know, I'm also glad that I'm homeschooled. I'm so glad that I'm homeschooled because of this shit. I would have to um, be home with my kids and this work probably if, you know, my kids were at school. I'm so glad this is one of the benefits of, homeschool of homeschooling. I know every homeschooler is sitting out there right now like, yes, every homeschool parent is like, yeah, this is, this is the choice. Yeah, this is the choice. This is the choice to make. I'm glad I made this choice because, <laughs> you know, when shit goes down like this, what can you do? You know, they're going to send every kid home from school. They're putting panic on, they panic in kids, you know, and they're panicking over all this, and it's really just because people are not, people don't practice good hygiene in, in the first place, people don't practice good health habits, they don't wash your hands enough, all that shit, it's ridiculous how, you know, what the, oh, I thought I saw somebody. It's ridiculous out here. It's ridiculous how many motherfuckers out here don't know how to wash their hands. They're just learning how to sanitize. They're just learning how to clean. You know, stay clean, cover your mouths. Stuff we're supposed to be doing anyway. You know, why is such a big deal over stuff you're supposed to be doing anyway? So, uh, yeah. And walk around a bit. So, wow, it is gorgeous over here. Again, I've never been in this complex before, so I'm just chilling right now. It is gorgeous. Look at these trees, y'all. Look at the trees right there. They're growing those little pink blossoms. I don't know if, I don't think they're actual like cherry blossoms. Like just cherry blossom trees in Japan, but still, though. Look at that. It's just. Look at the creek. Y'all. Bruh. You can't beat nature. You cannot beat nature. Look at the main waterfall. Shit. This is nice. say that and then that's probably it. I'll just be safe. Be safe. Be safe wherever you are. Um, keep doing your thing. I'm sure everything will be fine. Take care of yourselves and don't follow all the hype. The news, they lie. Everybody lies. Just do your own research and use your own brain. That's what I'm saying with that. And while you're at it, get out and enjoy some nature. Because it's free. Thank you for watching. Peace out.